first the opening meeting with my N95 mask on for eight and a half hours and for holding you commissioners accountable for your public service duties. The irony is not lost on me. You better believe I am still holding you all accountable. I am holding you accountable for the last 10 months, no longer allowing us to comment on Dr. Alonzo's presentations and the very data that affects our lives. I'm holding you commissioners accountable for ignoring CDC guidelines and violating your own mask mandate executive order at the Delray Beach Market on 424 as you were seen walking through the dining halls maskless and standing over food stations maskless. And Commissioner McKinley for violating the same executive order on March 26th when you freely mingled and danced at a gala maskless. I'm holding you all accountable um, to CDC recommend for turning CDC recommendations into mandates, yet choosing for yourself to ignore those same CDC recommendations. I am holding you accountable, Mayor Kerner, for not answering a single email of many emails this past year. And for those of you who want to bash the governor for scaling back your local government control, I have heard back directly from the governor to my personal cell phone three times this past year. That's three more times than I've heard from Mayor Kerner. I'm holding you all accountable for giving coercive health advice without health care licenses. And specifically, if our rock star mayor got the vaccine, you all can get it. And I'm holding you accountable for giving incentives and gifts and prizes for an FDA unapproved emergency use authorization still being studied for two years to come vaccine. A year ago, I presented to you CDC data on cigarette smoking deaths, and today CDC data shows smoking has caused more deaths per year than COVID-19. Check the CDC. Ironic how you allow one to freely exhale toxic cigarette smoke in the air, but not to freely inhale fresh air and freely exhale one's own breath. If you county commissioners can choose when you see fit and comfortable to ignore CDC recommendations for yourselves, then so should everyone else be afforded that autonomy over our own healthcare decisions. I can respect someone owning up to a mistake, but your actions make it hard, hello? Your actions make it hard to look past the double standards. You will always be accountable to me and those you serve, and that seems to have been lost on you. And I have concerns with Ann Gannon requiring employees to receive this FDA unapproved emergency use only COVID-19 vaccine. Thank you.